Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the second week for the seasonal challenges. I'm going to do this each week, hopefully, and let's get on with it. So Contender's Ascent, which is basically just do the second quest that we got this week. Uh, this shouldn't be too hard. I'm literally going to do it right after I do this video. I ended up getting this like, like only immediately, so it does work retrospectively, which is great because that means like next week and the week after, we might have like other stuff that is basically like acquire 500 Cabal Gold and then we, we can just complete it. So that's cool. I, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, so Cabal Gold 200, uh, Crash and Converge, Smash tribute chest and focus season of the chosen engrams using charges from the hammer of proven you have to do that 10 times which shouldn't be too hard if you're playing the season the bigger they are which is defeat elite or basketball anywhere in the system this shouldn't be hard it's my gun it's probably gonna be annoying hopefully the bigger the elite or boss it does count as one or two depending on how big it is hopefully uh because 60 is a bit much but we'll see Unlock artifact mods, which this one, I don't know. Oh, artifact mods. No, this one should be fine, especially if you're leveling your artifact fast. I'm almost there, and I think I can finish this right now because I think I have three open. Chosen Cosmonaut. In the Cosmodrome, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. This one is not hard at all considering that the new quest step is in the Cosmodrome, so you're already going to be there anyway, so this is simple calibrate elements weapons in the cosmodrome uh which is just your energy weapons heavy weapons this one shouldn't be hard you'll get this eventually these are the ones that are going to be kind of annoying for some people so earn points by banking modes defeating blockers and defeating invaders and gambit 250 points uh hopefully the points are good and not like annoying the Dominance Operandi uh, Cabal, which is just defeat, oof, de defeat five Cabal bosses. This one might be annoying considering uh, sometimes the strike is not kind or the strike playlist is not kind and will give you just a bunch of other shit that you don't need. And last but not least, Entertain Lord Shax, which is the one I don't want to do considering you have to do Showdown. The You, you do earn progress points for winning, but i'm just not a fan of like elimination type shit so we'll see if i do this this week i most likely will but uh these challenges are like if you guys as you guys can see i completed this literally the first day the, the season came out i completed all these because i was already playing the game anyways so these shouldn't be too hard i think the most annoying ones is going to be entertain lord shacks and the dominance operandi cabal these two are going to be annoying mostly because uh the strike playlist is a bitch so that's pretty much it uh once i have all of the nightfall weapons i'm definitely going to do a review of those so next week is probably most likely going to be the last weapon for the nightfall i have other other stuff planned as well like this video is going to go up and then probably another one as well so let me know what you guys th think in the comments below. I'm I'm liking this. I just really hope that we either or earn more bright dust or it's somehow easier. But you can do this like let's say you come at week five and you don't have any of the other like stuff done. You can actually do go back and do them. I don't know how that works, but we'll see. So I'll see you guys later.